New details this morning on a dangerous loss for the United States. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that an inactive Hellfire missile was sent to Europe for training purposes, seemed to disappear, and then show up in Cuba. That's right. A Hellfire missile disappeared and ended up in Cuba. Now U.S. authorities are working to get this missing missile back, <laughs> and they're trying to figure out, most importantly, how it ended up in Cuba in the first place. Chief National Security Correspondent Jim Shudo looking into this. Wow, Jim. Yeah. Yes, uh, I think wow is the simplest headline here. A, a truly alarming report in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, officials here at the Pentagon not commenting on this at this point, but l l let's trace it a bit. So th this was a Hellfire missile, an inert one, so it didn't have explosives in there, shipped by its manufacturer, Lockheed Martin, from here in the U.S. to Europe for use in a NATO training exercise. After that exercise, it was being shipped back, in effect, and then it went through this web of various stops through freight companies and freight forwarding companies, and instead of coming back here in the U.S., it ended up in Cuba. They don't know how. Uh, investigators looking into the possibilities that criminal activity was involved. Also, espionage was someone paid a bribe. I, I, I don't have to talk about the seriousness of this loss. As you mentioned earlier, John, this is, this is a key weapon in the U.S. counterterror campaign. It's, it's under the wings of drones that, that target high-value targets in, in the war zones frequently, uh, in addition to being used on helicopters, etc., so the potential that if it goes from Cuba to someone else's hands, uh, that they could reverse engineer it uh, and discover the secrets, in effect, of the Hellfire missile. To be clear, U.S. officials don't believe that Cuba is the risk here, that they're going to use it somehow. But Cuba has a lot of friendships, even after the thawing of relations with the U.S., yeah. uh, with countries in Russia, China, you name it.